Hey guys, and welcome back to Signalis. When we last left off, which uh, was a good few weeks ago now, uh, well, I guess it's about 10 days, I suppose, uh, we were in the mining complex. Um, we finally got out of the uh, protectors kind of slash hospital area, and uh, now we're in the deep, dark mines. Anyway, I hope everyone's had a great Christmas. My Christmas was pretty good, extremely busy, but um, this, what's, what's today? Today the, tw the 27th, first time I've had any time to sit down and record. So I am going to do just that because by God, I have missed it. Anywho, so what are we equipped with here? Ah, uh, we got the signal flare shells. That's kind of cool. I remember. Kind of right. Let's dump those. Um, we could take some bullets with us, I suppose. Uh, I mean, hmm. Oh, this right. Hang on. Now, what we're gonna do here? This might seem silly, but we're gonna drop everything we own because we've kind of got a big runny section coming up. Well, actually, it's not true. It's not actually that long. Um, but our inventory kind of sucks massive quantities of donkey uh, cock so we need to clear out literally everything we have oh wait have I I've done goofed I've done goofed at least we can go back <laughs> uh, yeah now righty dokey let's go so, let's go have a little poke around down in these deep, dark mines, shall we? Go see what we can find. I uh, should probably equip that too. Okay. Now, unfortunately, there is some nasty bitches in this room, but we're just going to get on by. No time for them. We're going to head down into this corridor, which this corridor, well, this room, I don't know what you call it, a giant room, I suppose, is rather nasty, but we've got a repair spray, which we're going to have, um, and we have a warning here, monofilament fiber, diameter, uh, less than two nanometers average, that's, that's lethal, risk of death. Monofiber will effortlessly cut through limbs and equipment in an instant. Always wear protective clothing. Do not touch monofiber without proper protective gear. Only handle in brightly lit places. Yeah, if we walk into this, uh, it hurts and we die pretty quickly. So, not sure why there's all this monofiber everywhere. Seems a little bit weird. Um, very dystopian to, uh, you know... <laughs> cover your mind in all this kind of like fiber wire that's just gonna cut your staff to, to ribbons so yeah we're gonna be a little bit creepy and sneaky here what have we got here we got some 12 millimeter rounds we shall have those bad boys and we'll grab the 10 milli as well now this looks like a very sad kind of scene doesn't it um, not really sure what's happened here I don't know whether this is the result of the wire or what but star hey don't cry it'll be over soon and she's got an eule there with her remember that time we went to the surface the stars were so beautiful I wish we could go there again oh, the eule is just in pieces uh, mentally bless her hey Listen, I'll let you in on a secret. I can remember my name from my old life. Isn't that funny? Don't you want to know it? Here, I'll tell you. It'll be our secret together. So you can stop crying, okay? It'll be okay. Wherever it is I'm going, I'll wait for you there. And they're just silent. That's really harsh. Like, I don't know what's happening here. But it's not good. And, oof, 
these these poor machines. I mean, say what you want about machines, but they don't deserve that, and I need to move stuff out of the way so I can see my monitor. Okay, right, well, let's keep going. These corrupted machines, ow, care not for our loss. Eesh. Well, anybody's loss, really. They just want to moider. But we're not going to let them murder us. Not today. Not if we can help it. Oh, hang on. Our health is low. I... I think back in that room. Oh, hi. You know what? It's fine. I was going to say, I think back in that room there's a health spray. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, no. It's this one that I'm thinking about. All right. Now, we need to get down that maintenance shaft. Unfortunately, I have a little gander what's actually in this room. Uh, yeah. Yep. That's exactly what you think it is. It's one of those big old nasty bitches, and I can't remember what they're called. Uh, trouble with um, playing a game like this spread over six weeks. <laughs> yeah, Storyline and whatnot gets a little bit fuzzy. Anyway, we need to crack this thing open because we need to kind of get out of here. Trouble is, that's going to alert all the enemies in the room, which is bad. And we can't actually go down the tunnel until it's opened, which is really bad. Oh, God. And there's our friend over there just chucking her guts up, which is a little bit on the awkward side. Right, okay. We're open. We're open. We're open. Can we squeeze in past these crazy ladies? Kind of. The shaft inside is slightly angled. Looks safe to go down. Yep, we're going to go down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was rough. That was really actually quite rough. Alright, that's fine. Oof. So there's the shaft that we can jump down. Um, I don't think we're going to heal up just yet. Now, here's the thing with this game. To get the different endings, you really, really have to do some cryptic stuff. Stuff like running around, like to get the best ending, for instance, you have to ignore all the NPCs, which we obviously have not done. You have to run around um, and take a beating, and when you're injured, you have to stay injured for a while without healing yourself. Just loads of different cryptic things like that to get the ending you want in this game. Even if you kind of know the criteria of how to do it, it's not easy. Anyway, we can't get up through there. So, it looks like our only course of action here... Yeah, we're in a bit of a bad way. Our only course of action here is to go down the hall. So, let's go. <coughs> and be like Santa and drop down the hall. Hopefully, there's something good down there. Oh, boy. Looks like there's a big hole down there. I can safely drop down. Looks like there's no other way. Jump into the hole. I. Now this will lead us to another memory, another flashback. Look at this. This is really cool. We kind of like wake up in a cave. Uh, I guess... I don't know whether... I guess we're on a beach, right? I'm not sure if it's snow or if we're on a beach. I don't really know. But... I think there's bits of paper kind of all over the place here. And there's paper all the way down there as well. It's... I don't think it's possible to read all of the paper. All of the notes. For there be something, sorts of death, some wherein the body remains, some it vanish, vanquish quite away with the spirit. Yeah, this is all like nonsensical stuff. I mean, obviously, I guess it means something, but we don't know. <laughs> Not yet. One kind of death is this... One kind of death, the spirit also dies. 
lots of something, while yet the body was in vigor for many years. Sometimes, something, 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 it dieth with the body, but something, 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 is raised up again. Something, 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 where the body did decay. All about zombies, I guess, I don't know. Yeah, it's all very strange, this. And uh, star fell from the sky, I guess. And a mountain, something into the sea, turned to blood. Blood moon turned dark. It's almost like kind of pointless reading this stuff out because it just doesn't make a lick of sense, really. It calls me in a sea of flesh. We will become one, but I can never go back to being me. Oh, right. That one is also up there somewhere. Kind of curious. I don't know if there's anything kind of else here. I think eventually we just wake up. Oh, there's skulls. <clears throat> don't know if they're human skulls or android skulls. I didn't see the skulls last time. I went up to the other side where there was... Um, Nothing. <laughs> Just like a, a empty rock face, which is kind of interesting. Now, I would love to be able to run through this. But we can't. This is the maximum moving speed. There we go. Yeah, I guess that's just done on the time limit. wake up in a very nasty looking place, to be honest. And again, we don't have any map. But look at all these. I don't know if these are people or if these are replicas. I guess these are possibly people. Because we're now in the mine, which is where all the humans were working. So, I'm not really sure. I don't know how it works. Uh, pick up a repair spray. We'll have the repair spray. And again, I'm these I'm guessing are machines. And all the broken bloody parts there. It's pretty rough. Alright, what do we got going on? Offerings. And in the darkness, the dead shall be offered. A light, a ho a light and holy spices, so they may find their way out of this cursed place. Alright. Now this part of the game really feels Silent Hill. Really, really feels like Silent Hill. Uh, and you'll see what I mean like a little bit later on. Um yeah, it it kinda feels like they lifted it just like straight from Silent Hill. So, it looks like we're all good over here. There's a repair patch. I guess we'll take that. Now, that's locked with kind of like a triangle type thing. I guess we ain't fiddling with that one. We've got some uh, 10 millis, which we'll have for sure. I think that room's... Yeah, we need to keep that room. So that's fine. Let's keep going. Ah, yes bathtub room. Might just eat that patch. Right. Okay. Well. We'll take the 12mm and there's a stun prod down there. But we can't really get that. Also a key item over there on that. I don't know. Oh, fuck. Alright. Well, we've been rumbled. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Oh yeah, there's also a note here. Warnings. This place, something, 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 here. Nothing value, valued is here. What is something was dangerous and repulsive. Something message is a warning about something. The danger is still present. Something, something, time as it was something, something. Something, something is to the body and something, something, something. Something 
from the uh, from of the danger is something 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 something. The danger is something 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 something. Disturb this place something 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 something. Shunned and left uninhabited. When something something within is killed, a path will open here. Yeah, it's more kind of like cryptic bullshit. To be honest, it's. <clears throat> It's just, it, it's a little bit silly, even for me. It's just, why have a 36 page log, right? If it's all kind of just grayed out. Now look at that. That's one happy gross motherfucker. But we're not gonna worry about that anytime soon. We're gonna, well actually, <laughs> we are gonna worry about it very soon, but First, we're going to get to a save room. And we have a note here labeled leave. It just says leave on the other side. If you're thinking, gee, that looks like a puzzle piece, you'd be right. Also, another repair patch down here. Yes, we're definitely going to pick up the repair patch. I think we're going to chill on like fairly injured health at the moment. Now, Let's drop some stuff back. We drop. Wow. We picked up 12 uh, or 8 12 millimeter rounds. That's not bad. We also picked up a lot of 10 millimeter ammo, too. We don't need the auto ejector. Uh, we don't really need those. I guess. Nah, we'll drop that. Let's take our handgun. And we want to go back and grab the few items that we didn't get just because there's no point you know I think just for good measure we might as well take these bitches out Ooh. right let's go squish her squish her all right, just rack up a couple of extra kills for good measure. So, what are we doing? What ammo have we got left? Actually, have we're in a situation in this game where we actually have loads of ammo, like an ungodly amount of ammo. Um, you know, when I was doing some research and hearing people's perspectives on this game. When they were going on about how like rare the ammo was, um, I kind of drank the Kool-Aid. I thought, all right, if ammo is really going to be that rare, we're not going to be wasting it because obviously we're going to be needing it, you know, for boss fights and such. Well, it seems like as people generally do, they're kind of exaggerated. There definitely is not enough ammo in this game for you to go mad and kill everything, right? definitely not the case but <laughs> but there is a decent amount you know uh, we're gonna see the trouble with the disposable stun prods as well these things are really bloody good they're kind of fun to use as well but you never really truly get the opportunity to use them and have fun with them so anyway we're gonna drop that back uh, we're going to keep the flashlight. We're going to drop that back. We're going to grab ourselves up. Oh, we've got the shotgun. How many shotgun shells do we have? Like 21. We have so much ammo. It's kind of crazy. Bear in mind, like, we can only carry 10 shotgun shells. Remember that fact. Like, even though we've still got 11 in the box, and we've still got, you know, five free inventory spaces, we can still only carry 10 shotgun shells on us at one time. I I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Right, so let's load up the shotgun. It works out basically. You can hold your gun and two reloads for said gun. It's ah, uh, it's strange, you know. Flare gun. I'm guessing the flare gun only holds. Yeah, so we've got like ten rounds in the pistol, and we have another 74 pistol rounds 
That's that. That's that's a lot, considering most enemies take like two to two to four bullets to kill. Um. So the twelve millimeter. This is basically the game's magnum, right? We've got twenty three bullets plus the six that's in there. Six plus three is nine. So we've got twenty nine <laughs> magnum rounds, basically. So we're going to grab the magnum anyway. And we're going to grab, and of course, because we can only have two spare reloads, we're going to grab the 12mm bullets as well. Uh, we're going to leave the rest of the stuff here, and we're going to say, ah, should we even hit, yeah, maybe we should heal up. Maybe we should. Probably a fairly decent idea. And again, we've got 12 healing patches. We'll take two healing patches. We've got 13 repair sprays, and we've got three repair spray pluses, which I've never actually used. Auto injectors as well. I've never used one of those either. <laughs> but we've got we've got so many of them. I think what helps you build up your stock of items in this game is just because the game arbitrarily like limits you so much on what you can take with you it's not like Resident Evil where if I, I always use Resident Evil as my baseline example but the original Resident Evil is if you got to a new area that's full of enemies um, you know you could and you just wanted to go have some fun you could just throw a box of shotgun shells in your inventory take the shotgun and you could have a bloody good time this game doesn't really let you do that at all um, the guns the guns are purely uh, defensive um, last resort only which is good it makes sense uh, because this is a survival horror game you know so it makes sense for that and it does work within this in this game but I think personally it takes some of the replayability uh, away as well because you can't just say oh, I'm gonna have a fun run where I run through and just murder a load of enemies because you can you literally physically cannot do that in this game unless you want to keep running to the item boxes every time it's just I don't know it's an odd the inventory in this game is a very odd design choice it limits the game in more ways than just you know making it frustrating um, going back and forth actually um, takes that kind of like fun let's go waste everything aspect away as well even though you definitely can get to an area like this one where you could go around and kill everything go on a murderous rampage but because of the inventory it just you just can't really do it odd and then you've got the photo module as well which you can use to take uh, photographs <laughs> for item uh, well for puzzles and things at least I believe that's what it's for I've never really used it do you know why because it takes up an inventory space <laughs> and you can't you know once you get the flashlight which is kind of required <laughs> uh, you're instantly down to five item slots left so if you've got a healing item on you you're down to four if you've got a gun and ammo on you you have one item space left which you are going to need to pick up key items because there's loads of key items in this game you see the problem like the inventory system it's it's odd um, and the thing is you get all these cool weapons that you could kind of have fun with uh, but, but like I say you, you can't really have fun with them and oh don't don't get this twisted we haven't found all the weapons yet there's still weapons to find <laughs> and we already can't really use the ones that we have it's odd I would like that to see them do some kind of patch where once you maybe once you've completed the game you can have like an unlimited ammo mode or something where you can just really like speed run through the game but they're not going to do that we know they're not going to do that. I know they're not going to do it. You know they're not going to do it. But it's just, yeah, missed opportunity, I think. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.